dear viewers welcome back to another Odoo Eaton tutorial by Cybrosis. So today in this video let's talk about job positions in Odoo Eaton's recruitment module. In Odoo Eaton's recruitment job positions are central to the hiring process and this guide explains how to create, manage and publish job positions. So let's begin with viewing the job positions. So here in the recruitment the main recruitment dashboard displays all job positions including active and inactive ones. So here are all the different job positions that to represented in a Kanban card view. So if you just take a single job position, you can see things like the name of the position, the star to set the priority, the number of applicants and all. Okay. Now here you can click on the card view to submit applications for that position. So if you click on this, you can see zero new applications. So new applications and all can be sent from here. So if you go back to job position, you also have the option to view all the same data in list view. So this is the job position, the department, the application target and published ones. Okay, so that's the view of job positions. Now we are going to create a new one for that. Click on the new button on top of the screen. Here you have to select a job position. So I'm putting it to sales manager okay and then you can set an email i'm going to click on create an email domain also can be set so a new job position is created so it's that simple simply click on the three dots icon on the job position card and select the configuration so that's for editing here you have the sales manager which you created so i'm going to click on this and here you have the configuration Click on that. So from here you can configure it. So there's a slight change in the name. After doing it, you can click somewhere on the screen or simply save it. So here in the recruitment tab, you can see things like the department where you have to select the department of the job position. So I'm putting it under sales. And then you have job location where you can select the job location or leave blank for remote. Then you have the industry for choosing the industry. So I'll put simply entertainment and then you have the email alias. So if you have already given any email alias for this uh, sales manager that will be taken over here. So next you have the employee type where you can select the employment type whether it's permanent or temporary. Okay. And then you can set the expected sales from skills from the candidates. I'm sorry. So you can choose whatever it is. I'm choosing adaptability. And then you have the company Okay, so the logged in company will be taken and then the mission date. So here, which is set to update candidates availability once hired for that specific mission. Then you have the target. So here you have to enter the number of positions to be filled. So I'm only looking, looking for one, you know, new sales manager. Next you have the website. So you can select the website to publish the job on from here or leave it empty to make it available in all the other websites. Next, you have the recruiter where you can assign a recruiter. By default, it's the logged in user. Then you have the interviewer. So from this, uh, you know, drop down, you can select two people, two or more people. Okay. Then you have the interview form. So here you have to select an interview form. And uh, the one is recruitment form. So let's go on to the internal link of the interview form. Okay. So if you go there, you can see the interview form here so you can create a new one from here as well okay so you can click the interview form using the survey builder and you can refer to the survey essentials from i mean the do document which is the survey essentials okay so from here the creation is possible where you can choose the recruitment the name of the recruitment and all such details that is the interview questions obviously is given here that the questions the options the description and the end message all such things of the interview is specified over here once you are ready with it you can simply share it okay so to share it you have to choose an existing recipient that can be chosen from here so i'll send it to this person and then you can start the certification survey so i'm sending it once received that person can open it and then start the certification so this is how easily you can manage the job position and uh, you 
like this is how you can easily set the interview form and all for the job positions in the recruitment module of Udo 80. So I hope that's clear for you guys. Thank you so much for watching and see you guys in the next video.